Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. I still haven't perfected that yet, but yeah, um, in case anybody was wondering, this is what happens when you have a cat. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot, Winnie. Okay, um, this is going to be <laughs> yet another haul video. Um, and uh, so as many of you may know, last week I spent some time in Viva Las Vegas, Nevada, and had the time of my freaking life. Um, it was so much fun. Pictures are up on Instagram, Facebook, yada yada, blah blah blah. So anyway, I am back. Back in business, um, back to reality, and yeah, I just wanted to post this video to show you guys how freaking crazy I went when I was in Vegas. Legit, I went to the Morphe store, I went to NYX, I went to Sephora, and then even when I came back home, I went to Walgreens today, so clearly I can't stop buying makeup. Um, let's not forget, I also placed an order with ColourPop and Milani. For those of you who may not know, I wanted to um, sneak a little note in here. ColourPop, uh, no, um, Milani is having, um, they, they have like a ton of stuff on sale right now if, in case you're interested. I don't have any kind of um, discount code or anything. But if you go to the Milani website, they have a, a bunch of little um, bundles where you can get, um, you get like a, an eyeshadow palette and a primer and an eyeliner and a lot of stuff like that. So they have a lot of really good deals. Also check out ColourPop. Um, they always have tons of great products at amazing prices so yeah check out them as well um they also just recently launched a mini blue palette which is kind of like if you've been wanting the jeffree star blue blood palette but you can't afford it you could always just check out ColourPop, and it's a little nine shade palette i forget the name of it but um it's um it's nine different blue shades so you can get something similar for a lot less um i think the palette's only like twelve dollars def check that out okay um here we go everyone here's all the stuff right here um yeah it's it's a lot of stuff okay is this even everything I was gonna put it all in a Sephora bag that wasn't ripped so I can just like show everyone and be like, hey, look at all my stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bam. Here's a good bag. I just dump everything in here. Oh, shit. You know, you know, I can't do anything right. Okay, once I get everything in here, we shall begin the haul. Alright, this is all in there. Put this in here. I have like other random things like samples I got from CVS too in there, so... people. Alright, Jesus Christ, that took forever. <laughs> so here is my hefty bag of Sephora stuff and trust me this is hefty like I if I had to guess I mean I easily spent I don't know a couple hundred I just don't want to talk about it okay I I don't have a problem anyways um I also went to Walgreens today and hit up um the soap and glory section I'm obsessed with soap and glory if you haven't checked them out before they have a lot of really nice scrubs and lotions and i just picked up on um, these two scrubs because they were buy one get one half and also another one of their body butters because i i had one of these before and i used it all and this stuff smells so amazing like oh, i can't i can't i mean this little thing is only four dollars the righteous butter so definitely check it out if you have like you know dry um elbows 
or um, knees or wherever you just want to put some body butter. This stuff is real good and you can throw it in your purse and take it with you. Um, and yeah, I really can't wait to use these scrubs. I don't know why I am on like a scrub kick right now. And um, I don't know if I mentioned in one of my other videos, but definitely check out Brooklyn Botany on Amazon if you haven't yet, because they have amazing scrubs. And yeah, they're a little bit more pricey. They're like $15. But these are $15 too, so I mean, yeah, like a good scrub is going to be a little bit more, I mean, I, I would think that was expensive, like cheaper scrubs are usually like 8 or $9, but you know, I don't mind paying $15 if it's a good scrub, but anyway, um, check out Brooklyn Botany, um, I also really love Soap and Glory for scrub, I mean, I haven't tried any of their scrubs, but I'm looking forward to, and... I'm sure these will be great. <laughs> All right, anyways, now that I wasted the first five minutes rambling, we are going to begin. Oh, 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 I should also include, um, I bought some, a palette off of um, a makeup group that I'm in on Facebook. I just wanna show that real quick too. I wanna see if I can find. Oh, I also got this, where did I put? Oh, it's in the bag. Okay. Right, 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 right. Um, I also have two more videos that I'm going to be posting. Um, one is my monthly favorites video for the month of May. And then the other video is going to be coming soon, coming up next week or next week or the week after. I don't know. I'm going to post a video about Walgreens and, um, for many of you who know me or who may know me um i am literally obsessed with walgreens and now that i moved in this apartment which is literally like right on top of walgreens that that is not okay like it is a huge problem but um legit i just have to upload a video about walgreens and let everybody know how lit it is to be a beauty enthusiast um let me see i mean i got this receipt from today and i already have 11,980 points. Um, it, it's how it works is you sign up for the beauty enthusiast and you can do that. Um, I think on the app or on their website, you just enter all your info, whatever. Um, and you earn points and every $50 spent is 5,000 points. And then, um, I believe every 5,000 points is $5. I don't know, whatever it is, it adds up super duper fast and I'm really loving it. Um, I swear I've gone to Walgreens a couple times and bought like several things and it only ended up spending, only ended up costing me like $8. So basically you get paid to buy makeup. It's like you get makeup for free and it's amazing. Okay, um, if I can just find like this palette that I bought, that would be great and then we could just get started with this video. Oh, here it is. Here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. This is a recent makeup I bought too. I guess I can go through this as well, but, um. All right, so I picked up the one and only Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. And here it is, she's such a beauty. Um, I have wanted this palette for quite a long time and trust me, like, I thought and thought and thought about getting it and now like I'm in this beauty um, group thing on Facebook where you can buy makeup um, like cheaper than retail price and this was brand new in the box and when I saw this palette I was like dude it's time I just figured you know if I can get it less than full price why not and it's just so beautiful in person and it smells good you guys know Too Faced um, it always has like that chocolate smell and yeah there she is she's beautiful and i also grabbed the bronzer and it's this is called the Too faced chocolate gold soleil um i actually swatched swatched it one time i did like a little bit of a swatch and it is a very beautiful bronzer i don't know if you can see in the camera but it has like little gold um flecks of glitter in it and i personally prefer um more of a glittery bronzer and not a lot of people like glitter in their bronzer but i do so whatever and then this is a maybelline city bronzer that i picked up in uh, number 200 
They have, I think they have three shades, 100, 200, 300, and this is the 100 shade. I don't know if you'll be able to see the color good with my lamp here, but um, I don't know, it's a pretty good um, basic bronzer shade, so I am excited to use that. Okay, now that we've gone through the basics here, some basic uh, quick notes. My hair is falling apart. I'm really hoping I can finish this video before I gotta run off to kickboxing because, dude, I have been slacking people. I'm serious. I haven't gone to kickboxing in like six weeks. And so I must be like, my, my arm is probably like getting flabby or something. <laughs> okay, um, God, where do I even start in this bag, you guys? Like, I can't even, there's so much stuff. Like, I'm overwhelmed. I was really thinking I should start um, a group called MAA, like Makeup Addicts Anonymous. Let me know in the comments if anyone would be interested in joining. Like, I'm so serious. <laughs> okay, um, so one thing I picked up today from Walgreens was the Butter Blush in this shade Vintage Rouge. Um, I know the Butter Bronzer is a big hit, so I saw this blush and was like, you know what? Let's try it out. I've never been like a huge blush kind of girl, but um, this is like a lighter shade and I figured it would suit me pretty well. And I am obsessed with the um, Physicians Formula Butter type stuff. On the same topic of Physicians, um, I decided to finally grab this palette. There was actually, this was the only one left at Walgreens. And I saw it there today and I'm like, you know, I've seen this palette. I watched Nicole Cutler review it and say she really loved it, and I don't know, like, I just feel like it's time, man. I had a coupon, and I'm just like, you know, might as well get it. Just what I need, right? Another palette. No, I don't. But I bought it anyway, um, and so here it is in, in the flesh. Whoa, it's got a little thing that just fell out of it. Um, I like the holographic. Um, it has that, that um, signature butter smell. It has a lot, of, a lot of great shades in there. I should think this would be a good palette for travel. I don't know. I mean, um, you know, it's it's a pretty nice, um, you know, I like the, I like all the colors that comes with it, and I think it would be nice to nice to use. And even on the back, it shows you different different looks that you can do. And um, I don't know. I am a huge fan of Physicians Formula, and so this should be pretty good. Um, I might post another video. <laughs> Who knows, if I like it, it could end up in a favorites video, but um, for now, this is it, and I'm excited to use it. Moving on, um, this is the, the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow Set. Um, it comes with three shadows. Um, I First of all, look at the packaging. Oh, it's like holographic. And apparently, the holographic thing is huge right now, but um, and this is called All Fired Up. Um, it says on the top and you get the shade sunset fire follow the sun and burnish sienna and i had to get this because i already have a few of these and i am so obsessed like these are really really nice if you're looking for something to just spice up your eye look add a little shimmer definitely pop these on the inner corner or even create like a little halo eye with them they're really good and this set comes with three and it's only 25 dollars. so highly recommend um Today from Walgreens, I picked up this All May Instant Glow Talk Pinky to Me Highlighting Duo, and it was on sale for like $7. They had this one in another shade, but I felt like the Talk Pinky to Me would be a good one. I'm just going to do a quick swatch on my hand. I don't even know if this... I'm not a huge fan of highlighter sticks, so, you know, I might just end up never using this, but... Oh, okay. So that's actually a pretty nice looking highlight. I don't know if you can see. Um... This kind of reminds me, um, Milk Makeup has like little mini highlighter sticks and I swatched one in store and it kind of looked like this. So I actually have pretty high hopes for this now. Talk pinky to me. Check it out. I don't know. Like I'd never buy anything from Elmay, but um, I it was on sale. So, you know, especially when you're a beauty enthusiast, you, I, I told the girl at the store, um, basically anything's on sale. I walk in there and I buy it because I get points and um, why not, you know? Um, okay, I'm just going to add that to my bag of liquid highlights. Um, 
Then at Walgreens, I picked up this Skin Rescuing Whipped Moisturizer with sweet almond and coconut oil. It looks like this. I think this is only like $10. Oh, it was on sale for like $7 or something. I don't know. I had to pick this one up because I have their water cream and I love it. It's really nice. So I figured, okay, I'll try this moisturizer, see if it's any good. Oh, it does smell really nice. Let's put some on my hand. Um, so this is like what it looks like in case anybody's interested. It's just like a lotion. This is a lot different from the, the water cream, but um, it is what it says it is. You know, it's a moisturizer. So there's that. Put the top back on. Walgreens, um, I think, has pretty good like skincare type stuff. So if you're interested in checking out Walgreens um, type skincare things, definitely try their water cream. I really like it. It's good. Um, and then this moisturizer is really nice as well. And they also have like clean like face wash cleanser type things. Um, yeah. What else did I pick up from Walgreens? Apparently like 50 things. Um, then I got this bronzer. Sunset Strip Tease is the shade from Wet n Wild. I believe I have... Oh, wait, no. Yeah, I believe... I don't know. I have one of these. Yeah, I have the shade Ticket to Brazil, actually. I figured I'd pick this one up because it's a little bit darker. I don't know if you can see. The Ticket to Brazil one is very, like, orangey looking. I really don't like the form, like, the the color of it. I don't know. Um, So I just figured this Sunset Strip Tease one might be better. They only have, like, three different shades. Um, I don't know what it is with every brand. They have bronzer, and then they have one shade, two shades, and three shades. I guess it's supposed to cover, like, all the skin tones, but... I don't know, me personally, I feel like I can rock a range of different bronzes, bronzers from like the orangey, glittery type tone to the more brownish. Um, I can pretty much rock any shade of bronzer, so I feel like just three shades is not very many. So, anyways. Um, anyways, anyways, anyways. Another thing from Walgreens, I picked up these two NYX Vivid Brights liners. Um, I do have, I do have one of these. Um, I think I have like a light uh, lavender, like light purple one. But these are really awesome. Um, I definitely want to get these in like all the shades because they are just so great for making that kind of pop art eye look, like they show on the back. Um, and you can kind of really do something fun and kind of like. 80s looking with them um yeah they're just really cool um and then i also grabbed this soap and glory face mask um with vitamin c and this is only four dollars they had two different ones i think i just figured i would grab this and try it out because i love face masks i love soap and glory moving on um these are the two ultimate edit palettes i decided to pick up from walgreens today NYX is buy one get one half off. Um, this is the cool tone and then this is like the more warm tone palette. Um, so I just picked up these two. I already have this one which I grabbed when I was doing makeup for a fashion show. I just grabbed it to go and I am so happy I picked this up because I used it like the whole time in Vegas. Um, it's a great like festival palette and you can even use the shades for every day. I know it's kind of intimidating with all the bright colors but this is a really nice palette. Definitely check these out. Seven dollars and six shades, and it's it, they're really nice. I mean, I don't know. A lot of people like hate NYX eyeshadow, but I personally think they make some really nice palettes. Check them out. Um, all right, moving on. Um, I did pick up two palettes at Sephora. The first one I got is the Urban Decay Born to Run, and I'm really excited to use this. It has 21 shades total, and these are the shades on the back. I'm sorry, this lighting is so bad. I'm gonna, like, if I eventually get enough subscribers, I'm going to um, actually invest in, like, a ring light so you can see me and I can actually record videos and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, this is the Born to Run palette. Mainly, I picked it up <laughs> because of... Um, Nicole Cutler, once again, I always watch her, but who was it that I watched recently? There was somebody, they said they really loved this. Yeah, I think it was Nicole Cutler. I don't know. A lot of people, 
are, are like talking about this palette on YouTube and so I had to pick it up. At first I wasn't interested in it at all but um, you know it does have a lot of shades and look at the front of it it's so cool like I love the idea like Born to Run like the whole theme is kind of like travel theme and it has all these pictures of different places and um, yeah I'm just feeling like the vibes it's kind of given off already and then you open it up oh wow okay so the one thing i have noticed right off the bat is that you don't get a brush with this palette but um otherwise the palette itself is beautiful there are lots of different shades in here and then look at the big mirror you get i'm really excited for this wow um so yeah um i have always loved Urban Decay. Actually, Urban Decay was my first like high-end palette purchase. What was um your guys' first high-end palette? I used to um when I first got into eyeshadow, I bought a Coastal I got a Coastal Sense palette for Christmas and I was like so excited. But when I got my first Urban Decay palette, that's like when makeup really became a thing for me. So I'm excited to check this out. I'm really feeling this palette. Like, it feels very um, expensive. It looks cool. And the mirror is so nice. You get a huge mirror. I'm glad they didn't, like, waste any space on the top. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to be a palette that gets super messy. At least I hope not. It is kind of like a hard plastic. So that can seem kind of cheap, but it doesn't. Like, it, it feels like it has substance to it like it feels like a nice quality palette so hopefully that'll be worth the money okay moving on i picked up the pretty rich palette from too faced um this i bought mostly because of ally blinds she made a youtube video posting about this palette and you know this was another one i really had no interest in buying but um I had to pick this up because in the store I swatched it and oh my god, the glitters are so beautiful. Like, can can we just take a minute? This gold one, this gold one, this you get this red one, this whiter one, and then this this other um, more pressed gold one, and then you get a, a couple matte shades and a couple shimmers. It's just really nice and. Um, I think actually it'll be pretty good for travel because um, it's funny. I actually have the um, highlight and it comes in like the same packaging. But I mean, you got to love Too Faced. They, they really do go out of their way to make really cool makeup products and pretty rich. Um, you know, I love the whole like idea behind it, like all the different shade names. It's designer. Like that is so me. Like I'm all about glitter, designer diamonds like all that stuff so i um, really excited to use this baby move that one out of the way where am i gonna put up this garbage i need to like hide this garbage i don't want people to know that i've been spending more money on makeup but anyway um moving on I went to the Mac store in Vegas. Look how beautiful this packaging is. Oh my God. This is the Dazzle Highlighter in the shade Dazzle Gold. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so I swatched this in the store and I did what I always do. I sat there and said to myself, Courtney, do you really need another highlight? And then after I swatched it, I was like, yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> I probably don't but can we just can we just okay I don't know if you can see it that well but like oh my god like I just when I saw this in the store had a mini heart attack like it's just so beautiful I don't even think you can see it that good on the screen I'm pissed I have to do a squat a swatch like you guys don't even it's just so beautiful. Look at it. So yeah, I had to get it. And it was $35 and it's amazing. And yeah, I don't know why I don't have like a lot of MAC stuff, but I'm going to have to get more because I saw this highlight and nearly died. So I got it. I see it. I like it. I want it. I got it. Okay, uh, moving on. So, um, speaking of highlight, I went to the NYX store and they had these holographic highlighters, first of all. 
the first thing this reminded me of automatically was the wet and wild loose highlight but they had this one shade and it was so beautiful and i was like oh my god i need this but they didn't have any of it left so i went like the next shelf down and they had this other one and this is more of like a rose gold but oh my god <sighs> this highlight is so beautiful like i can't even begin to explain like if you're looking for like a nice highlight that's not gonna cost you as much as like a mac one please check out nyx i will do a swatch right next to it this can you see like this is it right here it's just so pretty like i don't even think it doesn't show up that well on camera but it's so beautiful like i can't like the MAC one, the NYX one. Like, I feel like almost the NYX one, it looks better than the MAC. I don't know, but this is it right here. Hollow Graphic Halo Highlight. I'm not sure if they sell those, like, in-store, like, in Walmart. Um, you might just have to get it off the NYX website, but anyway. Then I picked up this NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh Spray. And they also came out with that little um, jelly primer, which is actually, like, a jelly. Like, if you feel the primer... It's so weird. It's like squishy and um, I actually kind of want to go pick that up because it's really nice. Um, I feel like it's a little comparable to the um, Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Um, so definitely check that out if you haven't. I'm sure Ulta has it. Um, but yeah, this multitasking spray is real nice. It says it's eight hours. I sprayed it in store and was like, okay, I need that. It has a really nice mist if I can get it to come out. Yeah, it has a really nice range. Like, it goes really far. I don't even know if you can see that. Like, it's hitting my hand from here. So, really good. Um, I think it's a, yeah, you can prime your makeup, set your makeup, or just, you know, throughout the day, if you want, like, a little bit of a touch-up, you can spritz it on your face. Um, okay, oh, I'm really excited about this. This is the, from Benefit, the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. All right, so what happened in store was I was going to, um, originally, I was going to pick up the uh, Gimme Brow, um, the full-size brow pencil, but I don't know. I was in store, and then I saw this goof-proof thing, and I um, did, like, a swatch of it on, like, my eyebrow, and it's actually really nice. Like, this is, like, what it looks like. I just love that it hits it. Can you see this? It, it's kind of, like, has that point, and um, it's just really nice, I think. Like, it, it, this is my perfect shade. Um, I got the shade. What shade is this? 3.5 they have like different numbers for the shades they don't have names but i'm really excited about this i got like the mini mini i don't even know if they have a full size of the goof proof but i think this was like 12 dollars, and it's really nice and i can't wait to use it i'm gonna actually throw that right in here because i want to use that um soon um another thing i picked up in vegas this was i we got this at cvs the cine this the the city mini palette from maybelline i have this and actually the green one but i picked up this more coral tone one because i had a coupon for like money off maybelline or whatever um i i was not this was not something i was like dying to purchase or whatever i just bought it because i had a coupon but um i don't know if you've seen in one of my previous videos Actually, I'm going to make a video dedicated to mini palettes because I think they're so underrated. And these Maybelline ones especially and these NYX ones are so nice. And even Tarte has a lot of really nice mini palettes. Just look at like all the shades you get in here. You get um, six shades, which is really all you need. I mean, you could throw it in your purse and then before you go out somewhere, you know, just throw in a little bit of eyeshadow. These are great palettes. I think only like 7 or $8, just like the NYX ones. Um, so yeah, that's all you really need. Six shades, you know, good to go. Um, moving on, moving on. I'm sorry, this is going to be a very long video. I bought so much stuff, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay. This is the Agave, um, Bite Beauty Lip Balm. I heard a lot of, um, influencers talking about this. Um, it comes in like a little bullet case like this. Actually, Bite has really nice packaging. It's so smooth and ethereal fancy looking i mean this is a 15 dollar lip balm so it better come in a nice packaging but um it's it is really nice i use some of it um in vegas and i like it can't wait to use more of this um next next we have the mark jacobs supreme gloss 
This is in the shade French Tickler. Um, I'm obsessed with Marc Jacobs lip gloss. If you're looking for a gloss that is really hydrating, really beautiful, they have such a great shade range, Marc Jacobs. Um, and then just doesn't have that super overly minty type feel where like all of a sudden you feel like you have herpes because your lip gloss is, has that plumping stuff and you don't like that feeling, then definitely check out Marc Jacobs. I cannot like this gloss is so beautiful and this shade i got has like um some glitter in it i don't know if you can see it's like a salmon color but it has blue glitter yeah you can kind of see it is just so nice and i have a um i think i have a liquid lipstick or something that i thought this would go really good with so i had to grab this and i feel like this would pair really well with this palette actually with the salmon shade so um I just can't. Every time I buy something Marc Jacobs, I'm like, look at how beautiful the packaging. Like, it's just, ah, so nice. I'm like, dude, I wish I had money because I would just buy every single one of those. Okay, moving on. Um, maybe I'll have to grab all these things so you can see. Fresh, fresh, fresh. There's one more thing. That's good. Yeah. All right. So, um, I redeemed some of my points while I was at Sephora and they had this fresh kit and, um, I've always wanted to try stuff from fresh. Everybody raves about the, um, rose face mask, which this actually comes with. You get a soy face cleanser, the rose face mask, the famous rose face mask that actually has real rose petals in it. Oh my God. And then you get the rose deep hydration face cream and the sugar rose tinted lip treatment sunscreen SPF 15. And it came in this like cute little box and um I, I took it out of the box because i had to pack everything from vegas and stuff was all over the place like i showed you the sephora bag sephora the sephora bag didn't really make it it didn't it didn't get through too well but it's okay all the makeup came out alive so that's all i care about so this is um the little box that the lip Thing comes in with the SPF 15. I haven't tried this out, but it's a, in a cute little um, like metal thing and sugar rosé like sounds really nice. So why can't I get this open? Uh, okay, so I'll just like put some on my hand. Oh wow, it's kind of like a tinted lip balm. I thought it was more of like a lipstick. I don't know if you can see it right there. Um, so that's like another lip balm, so I have to put that with my Bite Beauty one. Uh, I'm not like a huge balm person, but I know in the summer I'll probably be using them more, so I'll definitely put that with the Bite one, and hope hopefully I'll use it, but, you know. Then this is the Fresh Deep Hydration Face Cream. Yeah, okay, so this is a, yeah, rose. It's a rose face cream. The whole kit is rose. Um, these things are really tiny, but I'm excited to try fresh. So this is um, what it looks like. Oh, that does smell really good. Put some on my hand. Ooh, so that'll be nice. I don't know, like the mini things are really small and annoying, but it is, it is cute. Like I can't help but like think these things are so cute <laughs> um okay so this is the face mask and this is you might have seen on youtube um it smells so good it smells like you're smelling a bouquet of roses but anyway yeah this is what it looks like it looks kind of gross it looks like brown and like mucky and it has like the little the little uh things in there um but yeah everybody on youtube like has been non-stop raving about this like non-stop so it better be good man i mean it better be good i spent points on it so um and then the last thing i got um in that kit was this soy face cleanser from fresh and hopefully that'll be something good for my skin Oh, it just looks like a clear liquid. I don't know, it, does. it doesn't really have a smell, but there is that. Okay, I've never, like, redeemed points before. I feel like somebody special, like, 
I shop at Sephora. <laughs> okay, moving on. This is an eyeshadow I bought from the Mac store. It was on sale. It's called Sparkling Moment. It's their Dazzle Shadow. Um, I was not planning on buying an eyeshadow, but of course I was in Mac and they had a sale. So naturally, if I can get this out of the box, that'd be great. I'm trying to finish this video up because I know you guys don't want to sit here all day. I'm going, I'm going as fast as I can, I promise. What is this little thing? It's just like an instruction booklet. Oh, it's just a little paper that comes with it. Dazzle shadow is delicate. Please handle with care. All right, I will. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, it's like a purple, but it's just so stunning. I can't wait to use it. Um, yeah, it's more of like, it's like a pinky purple. I don't really know how to describe it. Let's put it like right up in the camera. Ooh, ah. Uh, Dazzle shadow. Ooh. Okay, then also from the next store, I picked up the, the California Beeman bronzer. And once again, had no real intention of purchasing a bronzer, but come on, you guys. Look at the pan size of this. 0.49 ounces. I mean, that is a big mother bronzer right there. I just figured um, maybe it's comparable to the Marc Jacobs bronzer. And I mean, you can't go wrong with a bronzer that's like the size of your face, right? I figured this will last me a long time and um, hopefully I got a good shade. I don't even know if I swatched this in store. I mean, it looks like that. It's, it seems like a good bronze shade for me. I don't know, we'll see. Um, another thing I grabbed from Sephora was the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Primer. The YouTube famous Banana Bright Primer. Um, I t um, swatched this in store actually, and it is so nice. Um, and my friend Rochelle has it. If you don't um, watch her videos, definitely click the link and check her out because she is my girl though. Rochelle, shout out to my girl. Um, but yeah, Ole Henriksen, this is my first thing I purchased. And I cannot wait to use it. Um, they also have like a kit, I think, if you want to try their stuff. Um, but really excited for that. Um, moving on, moving on. I'm going as fast as I can. I'm going. This is the Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Polish in the shade Sugar. And I wasn't planning on really getting lip gloss, but I'm just such a sucker for a Buxom gloss, you know. I'll just put like a shade swatch right over here and it looks like that i think i got this because i thought it would go with one of my other lip products pretty well i don't know i just feel like you can never have too much buxom gloss to be honest because they make really nice glosses i don't know if you can see that but yeah this is it up close um, then also from NYX, I picked up this Shimmer Down Lip Veil. I'm going to have like swatches all over my hands by the end of this video, aren't I? <laughs> if I can get it open, that'd be great. Okay, got it. These were so pretty in store. I was like, mm, I'm getting me one of those. Um, but yeah, so I'll just put it on my hand right here so you can see. Oh, it's so stunning. I really think NYX knocks everything out of the park. Like, they're so underrated. I don't know why people don't, like, pay more attention to NYX. That's it right there. Um, I think it's just, like, a lip topper. I don't know. It says lip veil. What's a veil? Like, a wedding veil? I don't know. Anyway, um, that's that. Then from MAC, I got this matte lipstick. I don't even know. What is this? Oh, this is the shade Love You Back. Um, this is like a matte, uh, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this is more of like a matte. Um, this was just like a nude shade I figured would be a good nude for me. That's a swatch of it right there. Um, it's more of like a mauve nude. I just figured... Um, 
I need more nude lipstick shades, so I picked that up. Then I also grabbed the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow, and I got a full-size one. This is the shade Perlina. Um, oh, crap. I think I already have this one, but <laughs> this is the full size one anyway. I have like the mini one of it, but anyway, I did a swatch in store and just thought it was so pretty. That's what it looks like. It's like a white, um, but it has like an iridescent. Dang, why did I buy that? I knew I had the full size one. <laughs> All right, um, anyways, I also for the first time bought something from Charlotte Tilbury, and this is the lipstick in the shade Kim K. Which ever or Kim K W, which everybody on YouTube once again was raving about, and I'm just like, you know what? I gotta see what this Charlotte Tilbury is all about. And so this is what the lipstick looks like, and I will also place a swatch. So it's like a real um, pinky nude. That's that's it right there. I don't know, it seems like Charlotte Tilbury, I mean, makes really nice lipsticks. Look at the packaging, it's really pretty. Um, so, looking forward to trying that. And then this is also the NYX um, Multitasking Medium, which I picked up in store because, I don't know, I needed it for the, um, I bought a few pigments and she said that this is good for, for mixing stuff together. I don't, I don't know, it's... I don't, I don't know what a multitasking medium is, but I don't know, Nick bought it for me, so um, that's that. And then this is also another MAC lipstick. I should have another one somewhere. Is it? Oh, yeah, it's, it's in here. Okay, good. I was about to say, where's the other one? Okay, so this is MAC lipstick in the shade Clouds in My Coffee. Um, but this is not the, the same as that lipstick. This is the Lip Tensity lipstick, which is like different from this is just their regular lipstick and these are called lip tensity and clouds in my coffee this was a beautiful shade when i swatched it in the store i was like oh my god i need that so it's like a really nice it's actually pretty similar to the other one but um i was like oh like that's first of all it has coffee in the name and second the shade is beautiful and then this is the shade medium rare that i also picked up don't worry, I didn't spend that much money. I mean, they were like $13 each, but you know. I just don't have like hardly any MAC lipsticks. I have like, I have like one. I don't know, this is the shade Medium Rare, and this is like a more um, pinky one. I'll just put right next to Clouds in My Coffee. So, Medium Rare, Clouds in My Coffee. And I don't know, these are like a different kind of lipstick packaging than the other one I picked up, so. Um, all right, last but not least, these are two glitters that I picked up from the Morphe store. They're from the Eye Candy Cosmetics Company. I got Sour Apple and Jelly Bean, and one's green and one's like, I think the Jelly Bean's like a purple. I don't know, I just saw these glitters in the store and they looked so beautiful, so I'm really excited to try these. I don't know. If Hopefully they're not going to get all over the place. Let me open them. Oh. Like every store I went to, I had to buy glitter. I don't know. I'm just like a glitter freak. Okay. So they do have like a little piece of plastic. So this is what this looks like up close. Um, it's like, I don't know if you can even see. It's like, it's like pink glitter with like a blue reflect. And then the green one. And then I just have one more thing to show you guys. I promise this video is ending. I'm trying to wrap it up quick here. I'm like Big Hero 6. I am not fast. Um, so yeah, the Sour Apple one is obviously like a green. Um, it's a green, but it has like little gold in it too. Um, I just thought it was so beautiful. I'm gonna have to check out this brand Eye Candy. I've never like heard of Eye Candy Cosmetics, but now I'm interested. Now I gotta I gotta find out about them because I never heard of Eye Candy. Um, and then these are I'll just take out all the like sample things. I don't know where I'm gonna put all these, but they're gonna go somewhere so that I use them. But this is um, 
These are two samples I just got from CVS. Um, I don't know, it's like a lotion and coconut oil. Palmer's came out with a, a face oil, so that's that. And then these are samples I got from from Sephora. This is the Sunday, wait, yeah, Sunday Riley um, Brightening Serum. The Bo um, Belief, Believe in Truth Aqua Bomb Jelly Cleanser. And the Sunday Riley Brightening Eye Contour Cream. And then the last thing I got, I cashed in more points for the Caudalie. Um, it's like a skincare set and you get, um, this is um, an eye cream. And then you get the, it says Essence. I don't know what that is, Essence. And then this is a moisturizing sorbet. It says that's a brightening essence. Moisturizing sorbet, and then this is a radiant serum. Um, so I never tried um, anything from Caudalie before. I don't. I think that's how you say it, Caudalie. I don't know. Some people on YouTube they call it Caudalie, Caudalie. I don't know. So this is the um, eye, cr the little eye cream you get. This is the sorbet. I like their packaging. I like the little like flowers they put on it. Then this is the Vino Perfect Essence. I don't even know what that is. What is an essence? I think oh, I think it's like a toner. And then this is the serum. It comes in like a cute little bottle. Um, so yeah. Real excited to try everything. Anyways. Thank you for stopping by, watching my video. Definitely subscribe if you haven't. Um, I definitely post a lot of hauls because clearly I have a makeup buying problem. But um, So if you like hauls, if you like makeup tutorials, if you like um, just random makeup, whatever. I mean, not every video has to be makeup. I'm probably going to be doing fashion beauty lifestyle whatever i feel like posting i'm gonna post so definitely subscribe because i'm gonna keep it interesting for you guys um so i'm not gonna keep you here any longer um please have a good weekend stay safe love you all bye bye Mwah.